some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a courtroom in Michigan where a soft tart has made a special appearance for a probation violation. And well, really doesn't last too long against the judge and gets completely shut down by him. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Okay, we are on the record in file 21-20513-FH, People versus Robert Joseph Matson. We are here today for a hearing on a probation violation and we are proceeding today uh, by video conference, uh, Mr. Matson is uh, present from the Lenway County Jail. Uh, Mr. Matson, my court notes indicated that at the last hearing, you waived uh, your right to be represented by an attorney. I am required to advise you at all stages of the proceeding that you do have a right to be represented by an attorney. And if you can't afford an attorney, the court will appoint one for you at public expense. Do you understand that? I don't think you'd be violating your oath of office, Your Honor, by allowing me to um, my, the right to uh, fighting clause. The right to fighting clause? Oh, oh, yeah. Uh, you mean must mean the right to confrontation clause in the Constitution, the right to face your accuser, dude. This is a pri probation violation hearing. In this case, it is the state that is accusing you of violating your probation based on the terms of, well, your previous case. So you are essentially facing the representative of the state at this time. Sir, I, I didn't ask you about. I didn't ask you about any of that. I asked you if you understand. I, I will, that. however, Mr. Matson, don't interrupt me. I the question I asked you is whether you understand that you have the right to be represented by an attorney. Do I understand? do understand. I have a right to be represented by an attorney or not. Yes, sir. Okay. You've previously waived that right. As I said, I have to advise you that at every stage of the hearing. So I have to ask you again, would you like to be represented by an attorney at this point? As I started to say, uh, Your Honor, I don't want the representation. However, I will use the help of handling paperwork due to my means here and having access to certain things in paperwork. I will use your... Um, um, your core point attorneys just to help with uh, some paperwork. Oh, come on now, dude. Are you that damn inept? Uh, the lawyers are not there to do your paperwork for you. The lawyers are there to do your arguing for you to get you off the hook. The people that you would want would be those underneath the lawyers, which would be the paralegals. And, uh, well, they're not going to grant you them Unless you uh, are granted the lawyer. So, so you can't exactly have your cake and eat it too in this particular case, you douchebag. Okay, so you don't have a right to have the public defender's office do your paperwork or handle any of that. You have the right to have them represent you or not represent you. So that nope. is your choice. Not represent me, that's fine then. All right. So you've previously been arraigned on... Uh, the probation violation. Do you know if you, how you want to proceed? So your options are you can plead to it if you want, which means you'd be admitting guilt. The other option is that I can set it for a hearing and we can have a hearing on the matter and then I'll decide based on the evidence submitted at that hearing. Uh, your Honor, all due respect, I wish, um, are you working under oath of office today, sir? Are your brain scrambled, laddie? He works under the oath of office every single day, you gibbering idiot, because, you know, you don't take that oath every day. You only take it once when you get the job, and it's a matter of public record. So, yeah, he has the oath. Sir, I'm not going to answer these questions or deal uh, with this. Uh, we, we've, dealt, we've dealt with you before and your sovereign citizen arguments. Uh, I've rejected them all. Sovereign citizen. <laughs> Sir, do not interrupt me. Do you want to have a hearing or do you want to plead? To I'll me? take your silence under your oath, Your Honor. 
Okay. Do you want to have a hearing or do you want to plead? I want the hearing. I want to go to go to trial. I want to go within the 90 days to a trial or sooner. All right. So uh, Sierra, we'll need about a one hour hearing on a probation violation. As well as I'd like you to have uh, the arresting officers that um, arrested me on that day. I would like their sergeant to be dressed in uniform and at that trial on that day as well, please. I want to speak to your manager. Judges, tomorrow too soon? Uh, that is probably going to be too soon, yes. You could do 3.30 on Monday, April 8th. Do we have um, anything else open that week? I, I hate to do it on a Monday because I never am certain that that's actually going to end at 3.30. Um, you have a jury trial the rest of that week. It looks like Wednesday, um, you have a prelim in a juvenile case at 2.30. I'm not sure how long that will last. What What is the jury trial? The jury trial is Tory Marshall. You could do um, an 8 a.m. on Friday the 12th, and I can move the couple of sentencings. No, let's, let's do it on Monday then. We'll do it on Monday, May 8th. April 8th, I'm sorry. Monday, April 8th at 3.30. Uh, Mr. Matson, do you want to be present in person for that hearing, or do you want to do it by Zoom? It doesn't matter, Judge, whichever is best for the courts to be fine with me. All right. I think it will go more smoothly if you are here in person. So uh, we will have you in person here from the jail. All right. Well, exactly what the hearing is going to be um, on that day. So you've been you've been charged with a violation of the terms of your probation. Yeah. For fa for failing to report. So the hearing yeah. is going to be to determine whether or not you failed to report. Okay, so it's going to be the trial that day. <laughs> Correct. Okay, can I have uh, the state police sergeant there at that trial? What state police sergeant? The state police sergeant of the arresting officers on the night of uh, my arrest. Who are the arresting officers? I don't remember the exact names, but any any no, state right. sergeant in uniform would do. So essentially, you're saying you want a supervisor present, and it doesn't have to be the supervisor of these men in question. It seems a little unnecessary to even bring their uh, supervisor in if he wasn't even at the scene or anything like that. Just seems a bit odd, you know, just a little way the sovtards think. I mean, very confusing at times. I mean, disorganized thoughts and everything like that. You know, caused by the ingestion of vast amounts of lead paint and the uh, indoctrination by uh, sovtard gurus who are trying to grift you for money. No, that couldn't be it. I mean, you're the smartest man on the planet, aren't you? According to yourself. Why do you want any state police sergeant to be president of the trial? Just... Just to show how arrests are made um, and how, why they're made and how they do um, um, the determination, how they bring people into jail. Well, how is any of that relevant to whether or not you violated <clears throat> the terms of probation? I believe there's a lot of relevancy there. 
I don't All see right, where so. I don't see where any of it's going to affect the courts in any way, shape, or form. All right. So the the the, the issue that the court is going to determine has nothing to do with things that happened during your arrest. The issue is whether or not it's not. It's not. It's not. It's not about the arrest. It's, it's about the arrest for the violation of probation as well. All right. The the only issue before the court that day is going to be whether or not you reported. So your arrest doesn't have any any relevancy to that. So um, I, well, I'm not going to. I beg to that. differ, your, I, your honor. I beg to differ because you the jury is going to be a jury of my peers, and at this time, sir, sir you're not going to have sir, a jury of my not, peers. Sir, sir, there's not going to be any jury. You're not entitled to a jury trial on a. Uh, hearing about violating your probation. I'm sorry, I, I misunderstood. I'm pretty sure that um, last time I spoke to you, you said that I had the right to a jury trial for determining if I was guilty for a violation of probation. I, I've never seen you on this violation of probation. I've uh, seen you, or so I've, I, I've, seen, I've seen you just the other day, last last week. No, no, you didn't. A different judge conducted that hearing. You, you're Michael Olsaver, okay. aren't you? There was yes, there was Dan Sloan, and then there was you. I've seen you, both. You you did not see me last week. Um, I did, and so you're you're not entitled to a jury trial on a probation violation. So, um, again, we will have you back in person on. Well, Monday. hold up, then. So, if I'm not in, entitled to a trial to determine if I'm guilty or not, this is a criminal court, isn't it? It's a criminal court where you have already pled guilty to a felony and been placed on probation. Because I was at risk of dying in this. I muted Mr. Matson's device because he continues to interrupt me and not let me finish what I'm saying. Uh, Mr. Matson, I was saying that this is a criminal court wherein you have pled guilty uh, to possessing a controlled substance and uh, you were placed on probation as a result of that, your sentence was to be placed on probation. Um, subsequent to being sentenced to probation, uh, there was an allegation that you failed to report in accordance with the terms of your probation. That is an alleged violation of probation. There's no right to a jury trial uh, for a violation of probation. So the court will conduct- Let me, let me, let me, um, let me speak to- I muted Mr. Matson again because he unmuted himself and interrupted me. Um, we will have you back on April 8th at 3.30, Mr. Matson. This hearing is concluded. And, and uh, well, that's how you handle a soft guard. You just shut him down quick, fast, and in a hurry. I mean, the soft guard just can't seem to get a word in because, well, the judge has heard every argument before from him and others like him. So, why bother beating a dead horse at this point? Just set up the dates and move on. No fuss, no muss. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. You don't want to go to jail. For what? You read this. Yeah. I don't have to listen to read anything. It. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not listening, Josh. I'm not. No, sexual oriented protection. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. You suck. They think they know it all. What's the Third Amendment, punk? Tell me the Third Amendment and I'll leave. What's the Third Amendment? What's the Third Amendment and I'll fing leave right now? What's the Third Amendment? Tell me. What's the Third Amendment? Most definitely. Because you don't understand why I'm here with a camera doesn't mean I have to get out of here. Doesn't mean I have to leave. Doesn't mean I have to go. <clears throat> that sort of thing. Well, this is what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna have to enforce the, the CT and have you leave the property. Um, per the postmaster, per the lead, uh, per the, um, the, uh, the person, the landlord of this uh, facility. Uh, so with that said, um, oh, I've got too many entities I know. You gave me a warning to get off the property. I got off the property. I need your name and date of birth. No, sir. You're either going to provide or you're going to jail. I'm going to remain silent, sir. Okay. Do you want my name and date of birth? Put your hands right now. He chose poorly.
Morning, Deputy Regan St. John's County Sheriff's Office. Two reasons I'm stopping you. One, Pine Island speed limit's 25. You're going 36. Okay. That's still 10 miles per hour over the posted speed limit. It's 25. No, it's not 25? So, I was going at 35. So, that's 10 over. You just told me that you're going 10 over the posted speed limit. It, yes, you did. You said you're going 35, right? Yeah, but I said That's a 25. A no, ma'am. It's it. The whole thing's 25. Okay. The other issue is your license plate cover is illegal. You can't have a tinted license plate cover over your license plate. Hi. How are you? Okay. I'm doing good. Well, you're detained right now. You're not free to leave. Okay. Why? You. you know you are not to be on campus. No. Put the phone down. She yes. asked me to leave and I left. No, ma'am. So you, you guys... You are now under arrest. You guys are arresting me for nothing. No. You know you've been arrested for this before. Dumbass! You dumbass! You're a dumbass. Such a dumbass. You're an ass. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that? You know why you're kicking me out? Because you don't want what, someone watching a movie in the courthouse. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know some of y'all are disappointed. I'm disappointed. Um, I hope that you will continue to watch this channel because this channel has brought more good than negativity.